Alright, hey guys, welcome back to another Sonic Collectible Review video. So now I'm going to be reviewing the Knuckles the Echidna plush from the Sonic 25th Anniversary plush set. So way back in September of last year, I reviewed the Sonic the Hedgehog and Dr. Robotnik plushes from this set, which is about the time when these plushes first come out. Now there are four characters that you can collect from this plush set. The first two, obviously, I've just said Sonic the Hedgehog, Dr. Robotnik, Knuckles the Echidna in front of you right here, and the fourth being Tails, which is the one character I am yet to um, pick up. If you watched my toy hunt, uh, video uh, a couple of days ago this is where I actually picked up this um, knuckles plush sadly they didn't have towels there otherwise I would have picked him up as well but um, yeah I'm a little bit late to get around to reviewing this plush um, but I had a little look on my channel and I think this is only going to be the second piece of Knuckles the Echidna merchandise I have ever reviewed. The first being the Sonic Boom Knuckles plush I reviewed a couple of years ago. So yeah, Knuckles needs a little bit of love. Um, I'm a big fan of Knuckles. He's one of my favourite characters from uh, the Sonic the Hedgehog series, especially from the hero side. I'm not a big fan of uh, what they've kind of turned him into for today, but more like the classic versions from Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 is pretty cool too, but um, not a big Sonic Boom fan of his character. But anyway, I'm to this plush itself. Now I've had a look at this plush and I'm actually a really big fan of this from a Knuckles plush uh, point of view. Um, I'd actually go as far as saying this is one of my favourite plushes I own uh, for all the character Knuckles the Echidna. It is really really well done. Now keeping with the tradition of the 25th anniversary uh, small plush sets, they've got this metallic finish to them. As you can clearly see on the camera, it's got a very metallic shine to it. And it's a little bit controversial with some uh, collectors I've seen. Some people like it, some people don't like it. I really do like it, although it's not kind of realistic of what the characters look like, because they obviously do look metal. It very much gives them a sort of... Um, exclusive and unique look to these for a Sonic plush set and I really do like it I don't think I've got anything um, like this in my Sonic collection from a plush point stand of view that's got this sort of metallic sheen to it it's really good but um, yes on to the, um, the plush parts itself they are really nicely done and they've got knuckles done pretty accurately I must say the shoes are really nice the stitch dob uh, on these plushes is exceptional. Tommy usually uh, never fail to disappoint with um, their plushes in terms of stitch work, especially when you compare it to some of the shoddy uh, Jazzware merchandise that was released a few years back. This one is really nicely done. They've got these gloves here, and they're really nice. Very firmly stuffed, as you can see. His knuckle bits at the top there, really nicely defined, and he's clenching his fist there. It's his thumb is stitched to his fist, which is pretty cool. You got like his collar bit here, which is actually the only part of the plush itself, other than the green part of his shoes, which doesn't have the metallic shine to it. So you can see that part isn't actually shiny. The nose as well, I'd actually say, and the smile, just pointing that out, and maybe the eyes, they're the only bits that aren't, don't have the metallic shine to them. And uh, these parts of his gloves as well. The stitch job on the top of his head's pretty cool, it's a really very much firm stitch job they've done here. You can see how it goes right the way up there, it's like it's really been stitched with uh, a thick cotton and it's very firmly been stuffed. You see, I press down and it immediately just bounces back up. The dreads are also really nice. They're not stitched to his back, which you do get with some uh, knuckles plushes, although you can only move the bottom parts of uh, his dreads up and down. This part is actually connected to his head. I suppose in realistic terms they should have probably gone the stitching all the way down because it, it's the only thing that's a little bit out of place. It kind of looks like he's got like one massive dread here on the back which kind of like it does look a little bit strange when all the others are a different size. Probably make that out. His towel hasn't been stuffed which is a good
good for him because it's supposed to be like um, a lot flat and not as um, thick as his dreads as you can see there but it's uh, stitched well enough that it will stay up all the time as you can see now unfortunately with my one it's not really much of a big deal and um, it's not a fault on the actual plush itself is that the left arm on my knuckles plush isn't as firmly stuffed as the right arm I'm going to show you here just get a tag out of the way which I will cover in a second as you can see it is a little bit flat whereas this one's quite firm but it's not really noticeable if it was sitting on your shelf there you wouldn't even notice and it's fine I'm not bothered the touch tag you've got the very nice Sonic the Hedgehog logo the very much classic Sonic the Hedgehog logo um, I should already point out, which I should have said at the start of the video, this is an incarnation of classic Knuckles, but I'm sure you could already gather that, the fact that he has black eyes. Uh, the tag, the tags are really nice, but I do have a criticism about them, which I have brought up in my Sonic and Robotnik review. Um, although the front of it is very nice, you've got, this is actually a sticker on the tag here, it's got another light, not metallic sheen and Knuckles. And when you open it, You've got a nice illustration of Knuckles here, but it just says Knuckles and a criticism I pulled up with uh, the previous two reviews I've done on this plush set is it would have been cool if they'd had a little bit of a bio here about Knuckles and what he is. This is as I've said with the Robotnik one, if you are like a young person and you're like don't really know much about Sonic the Hedgehog and you essentially you don't know nothing about it and you pick these characters up and you think they're interesting, you're gonna pick Robotnik one up and you're not gonna have any clue at all that he's a bad guy. So it would have been cool if I just put a little bit of a bio on there. But otherwise, that's just a very minor gripe. As I said at the start of the video, I would say this is, what about that, one of my favourite Knuckles plushes I own now. I wouldn't say it's the best one I own. My Probably in terms of quality, it would be the Sonic X Volume 1 Knuckles, which is just to the left there, which is in between uh, Shadow and... Sonic, which is from the uh, Sonic X uh, Japanese UFO plush lines, which you could get from Japan uh, around that time, which was uh, let me think, 2004 to five. It's from Volume One. That's a really well-made plush. Although unfortunately, the materials they used for the shoes uh, is starting to break down now over the years. It's kind of like starting to crack and um, fall off, which is. It's not as, as well when played with because they're not played with, it's just the materials are starting to break down. So it's, 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 it's kind of like a weird levery sort of they used in it that's breaking them down. It's, it's very much the same for the Sonic Adventure 1 plushes now. They're also starting to break down in the leather components to it. It looks like they corrected it for the Sonic Adventure 2 plushes because I have no issues with levers uh, cracking or falling off on those ones, such as the Rouge or Soap Shoe Sonic I am. But yeah, just a little quick review for this one. Hopefully I'll be able to pick up towels. Uh, from what I've been told, uh, Knuckles and Sonic are the two most common to get hold of, which is probably why these were the only two uh, characters that I could find for sale in Smith's Toy Store when I went looking. I should point out quickly, the plush is about eight inches from the bottom of his shoe to the top of his head so yes apparently Knuckles and Sonic are the most common uh, Towels and Robotnik especially Robotnik are apparently the harder ones to pick up and I haven't actually been able to come across Towels or Robotnik online I did have a little look before I started recording this video and I can't find any of those two for sale I'm not sure how commonly they are available in the US but um as a case with most Robotnik merch, it usually sells out and becomes quite rare quickly. Just look at the Jazzwear Robotnik merch from only a few years ago. It's, it's very hard to come by and usually sells for a lot of money if it's on an auction. The Eggman Boom uh, figure seems to be quite common still for now, but we'll see. But yeah, if you're a fan of Knuckles especially, great plush set to pick up. And the, the plush set itself, all four characters are... Um, really nice hopefully I'll be able to get towels and complete the set because it's a fun a fun plush set to collect for thank you very much for watching this video guys we're right to the end stay tuned for more Sonic collectible review videos in the future uh, if you enjoyed this video I really would appreciate a thumbs up that really helps the channel out a lot and gets more videos out there for other fans and collectors to see 
as I'll say again, thank you very much for watching this video, especially all the way to the end. Take care of yourselves and see you on the next video.